Hey y'all, it is Jocelyn Elise, That Mindset Teacher, encouraging you to change your thoughts so that we can change the world. Listen, friend, 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 listen. Today, I wanna talk to you guys about something that is super important to me. So I know you see the name, right? That Mindset Teacher. The teacher part comes from me being a fourth grade teacher. So I love talking comedy. Content. I love talking about strategies, tools, tips, tricks, anything that can help to improve the teaching community, that can maximize learning in every classroom, not just my classroom, but any teacher that is listening to this that can take anything that I say and apply it. And me just being able to learn from other teachers too, seeing you guys' feedback, your comments on different things that I say um, to improve my practice as well. So that is a huge passion of mine. But that mindset part, y'all, that is what we are going to be digging into today. And you guys, this is also a huge passion of mine as well. Um, so today we are going to talk just a little bit about what mindset means, why it is important, and the impact that it has on our lives. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What is mindset? Mindset is basically how you look at things. So it is our self-dialogue. It is our intimate beliefs. It is our attitudes, our feelings, our perspective on life. I like to think about mindset as if we put on a pair of shades. Y'all know um, shades can come in like different tints and stuff like that. So maybe someone else has like a dark brown type of tint to their shades and someone else has like a pinkish tint and someone else has like a, you know, blackish bluish tint. Like all of our shades are different, right? And this is just like our perspective. And so those shades act as a lens in how we see things, how we look out into the world and our shades can allow us to have a different perspective of reality than someone else. So we're all literally looking at the same thing, but the hue and the tint of what we are looking at is totally different because of our mindset. So I hate this example and I am really trying to reframe it in my own brain, but we are going to use this example for the sake of understanding what a mindset truly is. I know we all have probably heard of that saying of looking at the glass as half full. So multiple people can look at this same glass of water and they can see different things. Someone can look at this glass and they can see a half empty glass. They see what is lacking, what is missing, what's not there. They're kind of focusing on the absence of things instead of looking at what is there where someone else can look at the same glass of water and they can focus on, you know, what is there. They can look at the positive side of it and they can see that same glass of water, the water, the glass has not changed. It's literally the same, but their mindsets are different because they they see that glass as half full. Now I say I'm trying to reframe that because I want to see the glass as refillable. There are times in life where we might feel empty or our situations might feel like they are at their lowest point. But what I want to think in my mind is not, oh, well, I still have this, but thinking about how as a person, God has given me the tools, the gifts, the things that I need to be successful in that season. So if it's something that is meant for me, then I will be able to refill that glass. I am not going to be in a situation where sometimes we might get down, but we don't stay down. We might be going through something, but we are going through it and we can always refill that glass to build ourselves up 
and to get back to that place that we once were. Even then, that is a different mindset, right? Looking at that same glass and not saying it's half empty or it's half full, but saying, oh, this is a refillable glass. Like I can go into the pitcher, I can go into the source and I can pour more into myself and I can allow myself to be refilled, to be transformed, to be renewed in this situation. So so definitely just thinking about the way we go into situations and how we look at them. So why is our mindset important? You guys, our mindset can literally change situations. It can literally change how we react, how we respond. I already said that our mindset really has a lot to do with our internal dialogue. It has a lot to do with the way that we think. And when we think think negatively, we tend to respond negatively. My dad used to say your thoughts turn into words and words then turn into actions. So as, we, or I think it, it was something like that. I don't know. Dad, comment down below. Um, somebody at my dad and tell him to comment what the saying was. But I remember him saying something like that where our thoughts, what we think will eventually manifest into the world. And so really thinking about the way we think about things can change the way we respond to things and our reactions to different situations. So grab your lab coats, boys and girls, because we are about to get scientific up in here. There is an Italian scientist, well, he was a neurologist, so he spent a lot of time studying the brain and he really thought about how the human responds to situations and really looking at our mindset and our perception, our outlook on things. So Fabrizio Benedetti, coined the placebo effect. I'm sure a lot of us have heard of this before or maybe you haven't. Um, so the placebo effect is basically where a doctor or you know somebody would give another person um, a pill or maybe it was some type of medication that literally had no effect. <laughs> um, it would literally be, it would be a placebo. So it was something that had no effect on their situation like scientifically biologically this pill will do nothing to help your situation but when they gave it to people people because they thought because they felt like that pill was going to help them they <laughs> ended up seeing different results or they reported that they felt better so when we think about this placebo effect in here i wrote down the um actual definition it's a beneficial effect produced by a placebo drug or treatment that cannot be attributed to the properties of the placebo itself. This relies on the person's beliefs. So basically in his study, he found that when people think that their situation will get better, when they think that they have found a solution, majority of the time, they get there not to say like oh this is the magic of the brain like no we're not doing any of that but really thinking about our oh you know will it to yourself but really just thinking about how the way we think about things can literally change so these people that were sick and i know there were several other studies that kind of followed the same thing but people that came in sick and were given placebos reported that they felt better or you started to see their health and the issues that were wrong with them changing so the way that we think about things totally has power it has power over our body it has power over our situations over our families over our marriages over our relationships over our classrooms so when we look out into the world we should see positivity we want to see see that refillable glass that we know maybe the situation is not where we want it to be but we can push through we can grow through it so we can get better and better and that friends is literally the purpose of this channel i want to try to give you guys any tools anything that i have anything that i can feed into you to 
embrace the positivity into the world. I start every video off saying it. I am encouraging you to change your mindset so that we can change the world. The way we think about things, our mindset, our thoughts literally impact the amount of impact that we can have. And I believe every single person on this earth was given a God ordained purpose. You have a destiny. You have a reason to be here to live every breath that you take is proof that you have purpose and I want to do to say anything to motivate you to walk in that purpose so friend I want you to think about your mindset think about how you think about things what are your first reactions when things go wrong what are your first reactions when you see something that might not be at where you want it to be or does not meet your expectations and really try to reframe your thinking so that we can grow and just learn from each situation. So I appreciate you watching this video, friend. I hope that you take some time to think about your mindset and that you are able to grow and glow through whatever season you are in. So I will see you soon, friend. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below.